Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to episode 2 of my Street Fighter V ranked series. Yeah, second episode. Should I call it second? I guess it's fair because I did kind of restart this series. As you know, the hallmark of this series is the fact that this is uh, post-commentated. Uh, I just play sometimes and then I record the replays and I kind of look at how I play uh, and see what I did right, see what I did wrong as I try to rank up. I didn't really explain the premise of this series uh, because I kind of set it up wrongly on the first episode. It was a trial run. Uh, the re this is the reason I'm including this match. Uh, this is actually a casual match on a character I'm trying out, Laura. Uh, so I thought that I'd leave this in the background for introductions. We will get into ranked matches in just a little bit. So yeah, this is going to be... Again, a series is going to be sort of regular. I'll try to do it at least once a week because I have been playing a ton of Street Fighter V. I feel like I am getting better. I hope I am. And yeah, I got killed. Very anticlimactic, but again, this is just casual. Let's get into the ranked portions. Okay, here we go. So, of course, we are going with the main man, Birdie. Uh... First match, of course, against Ryu. Actually, there have been less Ryus uh, online uh, recently. It's all about Kage this season, but I think I, I think I talked about this. So yeah, I feel like you know, generally, this is a matchup that's okay with Birdie. Uh, this guy actually played interestingly. He didn't throw out nearly as many Hadoukens as Ryus normally do. Gotta go for the Dolphin dive. It's not even the dolphin dive, whatever, the chain grab, at least once, you know. Yeah, I, you'll see, I screwed up a lot of that, uh, a lot of those confirms the crouching light kick, standing light kick into the headbutt. <clears throat> I honestly don't even know why. Uh, I get better at it though, as we went along. These are going to be chronological matches. Uh, this was recorded basically over one morning little session. That I've been playing. Gotta go for the command grab. Yeah. Didn't confirm the counter hit, which I should have. And that chain is actually very punishable. Uh, he could have easily tatsued that. But who am I to say I don't punish a lot of stuff? Uh, yeah, this guy, he didn't really confirm his combos. I took the. See, I screwed it up, I screwed it up there again. Uh, I got the crush counter on the forward heavy punch, I took the Oki, and we are going for the armor. That armor is really good against Shoto's, uh, it's perfect for blowing through single hit projectiles. One of the things I'm trying to do with uh, Birdie now is, you know, I've been playing for a while now, and my main's been Birdie for quite a while, but I've picked up a lot of uh, bad habits, especially at the start. And a lot of it is like committed to muscle memory. So for example, the fact that I usually end with bullhorn, see I tried it there again. Usually that uh, command grab only works once per game, <laughs> once or twice at maximum. So yeah, I picked up quite a few bad habits, including the fact that I tend to end stuff with bullhorn instead of... Wait, not bull... bull... I get them confused. Whatever. I don't end with the move where you have to hold the button, which is the optimal one. Even though it doesn't deal more damage, as far as I know, it gives you a slightly better Oki. Uh, so yeah, that's the that's the thing I'm trying to get myself into, kind of as a habit. God, I love that move. That's like my favorite birdie move. I got the crush. I should have went. I could have went for the kill. Uh, just muscle memory into V trigger activation, because I honestly didn't think that was gonna work. And it was too late to flip it. But yeah, as you can see, this is this is a match without, you know, being arrogant that I wasn't really worried about. Uh, this Ryu, he was okay, you know, he definitely wasn't crazy. A lot of Ryus uh, in ranked... Okay, he got a little bit crazy there. A lot of Ryus tend to play like Ken, uh, you know, just go absolutely ham. But this guy was okay. I think he should have thrown more fireballs. Uh, because you can, you know, fuck with birdie. Yeah, I just went for the uh, slow get up, delayed get up. Yeah. 
And that's pretty much checkmate at that point, you know, with that much of a life lead with a character like Birdie, any of the grapplers really, it can be difficult to make a comeback. So yeah, that was against Ryu. Uh, usually again, Ryu's tend to give uh, me more of a hard time. Speaking of characters that give me a hard time, Abigail. Shit, man. I don't know if any other character has my number more this season than Abigail. Consistently, whenever I fight against Abigails, I have an incredibly hard time. And I'm trying to like practice. I, I should have done the banana there. I'm trying to practice and, you know, figure out tactics to approach this character. And it's just not working. Uh, consistently, again, I am I do terrible. That's yeah, a mispunish. This was a pretty laggy match. Uh, I consistently struggle against this character and this fucking run. I was too far away for a follow-up. Uh, and his stupid fucking run. Uh, because it's really hard to deal with now. Uh, especially combined with the fact that he has massive amounts of HP. I screwed up there. I screwed up. He has massive amounts of HP and does massive amounts of damage, even to a character like uh, Birdie. I mean, I can't even imagine how a character like Cammy does against Abigail. I mean, just, just the sheer fact that he has such an insane health pool. Yeah, and this is just, this fucking run really, again, has my number. Uh, and I don't know, because... Because this is like not a... I mean it's a matchup issue, but... Like... Predi predicting this shit, or anticipating what these Abigails are gonna do is really difficult, so... Yeah, definitely if I had to pick a character that I struggle against most... Consistently online, it's this character, and... Yeah, it's tough, man. The other one is Bison. Uh, Bison is kinda... Not an easy character. Speaking of, here is Urian. People say that this guy is really good now, uh, this season. Uh, interestingly, one of the most bizarre things about this matchup, or this game, this series of games, is that this dude was from China, and the connection was perfect. The other guy, the Abigail, was from like Italy, and it was absolute horseshit. <laughs> Man, Street Fighter V online is stoned, I swear. That's like one of the most consistent things. I am begging them, or I'm really, really hoping that they're working on a uh, network patch because, yeah, I got annihilated. This guy played really strangely. That's the best way to put it. Uh, he used that knee drop a lot, which Urians don't really tend to do. Kind of threw me off. But yeah, it's, I, I don't know, the Street Fighter Online is absolutely stoned. Like, I can have a near-perfect connection against someone from China, where the game says this is a one-bar connection, and I have a five-bar connection against someone who is like a couple of hundred kilometers away in Italy, and it plays like ass. And I don't know. It's the disadvantage of this type of netcode. So that's the thing, uh, this guy kept doing the knee drop, and of course it's a move that's easy to anti-air, especially with birdie. Uh, I can imagine it's a struggle for characters with worse anti-airs. This guy had like a 12 win streak, which, without spoiling anything, is going down the drain. I don't know why he did that. And I double don't know why I didn't go for EX. I'm such an idiot, I risked so much by not going for EX. There was nothing for me to lose. Anyways, this is final round. Yeah, that was stupid of me. Don't matter. It don't matter. By the way, one thing I didn't mention. You guys see this new birdie outfit that I've picked? I went back to the classic. Uh, I've been messing around with SF5, SF5, SF Arcade Edition. Uh, I tried to go back and play some of the older games. But unfortunately, yeah, I walked too far back. Unfortunately, SF, uh, t what is it called, Anniversary Edition, is extremely, extremely dead online. There's like 40 people playing at one time according to the Steam charts. He also had a very strange use of Aegis Reflector. Uh, he didn't really go for it on combos. 
which is kind of bizarre. So yeah, I tried to go back, uh, and since no one was online, I messed around with Street Fighter Alpha 3 a little bit, which of course has Birdie, this version of Birdie, and I was worried here. Thank fuck the light punch worked. Uh, which has this version of Birdie, uh, so because of that, I decided to go for the classic. Plus, I like this color. This this is color 10. So yeah, rematch against this Urian. I'm we, listen without spoiling any, anything. I'm about to get annihilated. The thing about people who have like this kind of very strange playstyle is that. Even once you've seen it, it can throw you off. It's kind of like those cans that, you know, go for the Shoryukens all the time. See, I, I got pretty bad at anti-airing the... Uh, the knee drop. And he started using more tackles, which is difficult. I, that, was, that was a command grab attempt, and I just missed it. It would have worked, too. So he's using the wake up more, and... Uh, he's using the chariot tackle or whatever it's called, tyrant tackle a lot, a lot more. So yeah, that's an overhead too, and he cancelled into Aegis, which is not safe. Um, but he always went for the grab, so yeah. So that's difficult to deal with. Uh, that's not a move you can really ma meet in the air because it has very good priority, so it's difficult to air to air, uh, even with a gun like air move like, like birdie's medium punch so yeah interesting play style i gotta admit i feel like this guy was or is kind of what you define as a one trick pony uh, which can still be a nightmare to deal with and still can lead to uh, you making it very far just look at that dude what is he called uh, hawaii shirt man who plays zeku and just like switches every millisecond you know like, un unorthodox playstyles do work. Like, for example, you know, people don't tend to use that move with Urian too much. This chariot tackle. But yeah, man. See, this is when... It was too late at this point, but... I should have been doing this from the start. Uh, and I would have had it. I would have had it if I hadn't done... What I did in the previous game too. If I'd done the chain... I think that actually does go through Aegis Reflector, if I'm not mistaken. So I would have had it, but I screwed up. I screwed up. It don't matter, I mean, whatever. You'll take L's every once in a while. You'll take L's. Uh, yeah, this is... You will see that I tried to adjust. That I'm punishing with command grab every single time. And I tried interrupting more because he did the dash in to throw quite often. Yeah, because just this type of you know, this type of damage really adds up for him. And even if I'm only using the light command grab, again. See, I've got a massive life lead now. And interestingly he chose to run away. It's kind of weird uh that he chose to do this. But all the more power to him. You'll see, about now is when I started getting a little bit more passive. After that EX chain. Oh no, maybe not. Yeah, it's after this ages. Do you see that throw? I want I went to tech, he went to throw, but we were too far away, both of us. This is when I about started to realize that, hey, I have a massive life lead which is dwindling so let me throw him and let me just fuck off out of there and that is exactly what I did listen if you have a chance to let the clock run out just let the clock run out I mean this is basically checkmate uh, there's very little he could have done here even if he hit me with that uh, I did the slow get up and I timed him out this is not something that happens often uh, timing out is probably second rarest after double KOs, uh, but that's how it's a completely viable strategy. A less viable strategy, but an interesting one, is going for uh, flying knee drop into flying knee drop, 
Uh, it's not quite a, not quite something I've ever seen, but all the more power to him. He apparently had a 12 win streak, so whatever he's doing works. Uh, but yeah, this guy, this guy, he had a pretty strange playstyle. I'm still kind of more baffled by the fact that we had okay connections. Yeah, I screwed up there. Tried to shimmy, but I tried to command grab. It didn't work. And ah, fuck! I I need to get that habit out of my head. Uh, yeah, just go for the throw. Surprisingly, it didn't stun. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's it. Pretty good matches. I would say definitely one thing I need to improve on is the activation. Uh, other than that, I just need to really practice these bullhorn combos because that's really kind of the thing that's going to uh, improve my birdie game. Not in terms of damage, but again, as in terms of Oki. So I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of SF5 Ranked. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. There will be more of this series coming. And yeah, peace out. Goodbye.